Hi everyone and welcome to my Facebook Live today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. It's great to be back with you today. I have missed you all the last couple of weeks. So I will just um, call this up on my iPad while everybody is jumping on um, so that I can see all of your comments. So just bear with me for one moment. And I'll bring this up. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's turn that volume down. Don't need to hear me in stereo. Okay. So you may notice that, um, you may notice that we are in a different orientation today. Um, and just excuse the, um, tape that you're seeing and everything. We've just got a different setup today. So we weren't sure how that was going to be looking. Um, so my tape is there for filming of um, videos, not for filming Facebook Live. So I apologize for that. Just ignore that today. Um, so how is everybody? Hey, Megan. Thank you so much. Hi, Kathleen. Thank you. Um, oh, sure, Megan. I will. Thank you. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you so much. I will. So you'll notice that we've just got desktop view today um, because I can't transition my um, stand at the moment because I can't move well enough with my back. Those of you that may not have seen my Facebook lives before, um, I've been away for the last few weeks because I have injured my back. And so I've spent the last few weeks in bed, um, managed to get up today and made my first card in several weeks had my um, assistant and daughter um, helping me the last few weeks with all the creativity um, and I've just been able to do a little bit of the computer work um, here and there as I'm able to. So it's great to be back with you. I've missed you all so feel free to chat with me in the chat. Um, I'm probably going to try and keep this fairly short because I can't sit for too long a stretch. Um, so it should be a quicker Facebook Live this week. Um, so we are going to be looking at some mini catalog, um, product or playing with some mini catalog products today, but I just wanted to share with you before I do that, that, um, all of the products are now available in the mini catalog. We've finally got all the rest of the products here, um, in the South Pacific, which is awesome. So everything's available now in the mini catalog and also in the celebration brochure, which is so exciting. So let me tell you a little bit about celebration. Now, before I do that, if you don't have either of these um, and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia, um, feel free to get in contact with me and let me know and I'd love to send them out to you and um, look after you as my customer. That would be my pleasure to do that. So during celebration, which um, started on the 4th of January and is running until the 28th of February 2022, you can earn free products with every $90 purchase or in increments of $90. So in the celebration brochure, there's lots of products to choose from, which are all now available here in the South Pacific, which is fantastic. We had a little bit of a delay on those with all of the shipping crisis. Um, so uh, they took some of these took a little while to come in, but they're all available now, which is super, super exciting. Oh, I forgot to take that sticky note off. I thought I checked all of those before I went live today. Um, so all of these are um, available with a $90 purchase. So you can choose one of those. There are level one items and we've got some gorgeous designer series paper here, which coordinates with one of the um, bundles in the mini catalogue. Um, also too, we have got some more paper and some stamp sets. So we also have some level two items as well, which are available with um, orders of over $180. So we have the friendly hello stamp set and designer series paper. So they come with both. So if you're ordering over $180, you can um, choose that as a free item. Or you can choose the Special Moments um, Sentiment Stamp Set, which this one, I love this one. This one's got so many beautiful, um, so many beautiful sentiments in there, which are great for all the different um, occasions. Sorry, I'm just bringing, I'm just having, trying, having trouble seeing this video playback on my 
iPad for some reason. I'm seeing your comments, but I'm not seeing the video play. So I don't know what is going on with the video. Um, so if you hear any noise in the background while I'm here, just to let you know, I do have my, um, my daughter Amber and our puppy dog Callie here in the room as well, just in case I need her help um, with anything or need her to get anything for me because I'm sitting here in my chair and I can't move from here. So <laughs> um, yeah, my movements are, are quite limited at the moment, so I've got to be careful how I move. Um, the other thing I wanted to let you know as well, um, I'm just not seeing the video at all, but I am seeing your comments, so that's all good. I'll respond to some of those um, in a moment. Um, during celebration as well, there is also um, some host, uh, a special host stamp set that you can earn, and that's this beautiful one here, Calming Camellia. So this one is available free during celebration with orders over $500. Now you might think that sounds like a really huge order. I'm never going to put in an order over $500. But if you would like to gather orders from your friends and put them all in together um, in one order, then you can get this one as a free um, celebration item. Now, um, if that is something that you would like to do, please let me know because I can actually give you a host code. I can set that up specially just for you and your friends and your friends can all pop in their own orders using that host code and then you would get the, um, the host rewards. Okay, now the other thing I just wanted to tell you about is the amazing joining offer at the moment. You can find this information on pages 18 and 19 of the mini catalog and um, during celebration, um, you still only pay $169, which is our normal starter kit price, but you get to choose $235 worth of product that's here in Australia. Um, so you're already getting $66 worth of product for free when you purchase the starter kit, plus you'll get free shipping on that. But during celebration, you will also get to choose two free stamp sets, and they are any of the current stamp sets from either the mini catalog or the annual catalog um, or anything else, any of the carryover items that are on the online store, you'll get to choose um, those as well. So that is a super awesome um, incentive to join during celebration uh, to purchase or to get for free those two additional stamp sets and then after that you would get 20% discount on all of your Stampin' Up! products. Okay so if that is something that you might be interested in please let me know and I'd love to give you more information on that and um, answer any of your questions that you might have. So when you join my team there is no pressure to sell product. You can just purchase the products just for yourself and enjoy the discount for yourself. Um, but if you did want to share that with family and friends then you're welcome to. Um, there is also a business opportunity for those that may be interested, but um, not everybody's interested in that. A lot of people just want to join for themselves for their own hobby, and that is totally fine too. So that's a little bit about celebration. Again, if you don't have the celebration brochure, please let me know, and I would love to get that out to you. All right, let me catch up on a few of these comments. Um, oh, Megan's got an aching sore shoulder. Oh, sorry to hear that you're struggling with your shoulder at the moment, Megan. Um, oh, you made over 80 card kits on the weekend and you're making swaps for the weekend retreat at the moment. No wonder your shoulder is aching, Megan. <laughs> All that card making, oh my goodness. Take it easy, look after yourself. Hi, Michelle, thank you so much. It's great to be back. I missed everybody so much. And I'm, I do miss um, seeing you or I miss looking at the camera. I feel like I'm sort of talking to you more face to face that way, but I just can't transition my stand at the moment because I can't sort of um, move or manipulate that at the moment. I'm sort of sitting just in one spot and this is where I've got to stay. <laughs> um, oh, Megan says she loves the sentiment stamp set in the celebration brochure. Yeah, this one. It's beautiful. There's so many awesome sentiments in this one. That's the first thing that Megan got um, when she um, during celebration. Hey Julie, thank you so much. It's great to be back. Yeah. All right. So, um, if you are shopping with me, um, be sure to use my host code. This is my host code for January, 2022. 
E-R-W-T-C-Y-J-W. And when you use that host code and your order is over $50, um, I will give you, oh, I will send you a thank you gift for shopping with me. And you can find my online store um, at my blog, which is mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. Or you can go to my website, which is mandywithab.stampinup.net. If you go to my blog, however, there is additional um, things on there that I have got there. Um, there's PDF copies of the catalogs. There's my um, newsletter registration there if you want to sign up for my newsletter to keep up to date with everything that's been happening. And I have still been putting out newsletters even while I've been off um, my Facebook Lives with my back. I think I missed one week. Uh, but the last couple of weeks I've put one out just to keep everybody updated with um, everything. So I'm able to um, sit at my computer or um, lay down and type on my iPad <laughs> while I'm convalescing from my back injury. So I've been doing bits and pieces um, while I've been um, getting better. So yeah, and there's also lots of creative inspiration there on my blog as well. So check that out. Go there and have a look. You might also want to have a look at my... Um, website as well and see what's there too. There's some additional things there as well. Um, so either of those places you'll find my online store. So just click on the shop button or shop now button and that'll take you through to my online store. All right, so I have got everything here within arm's reach. Amber has got me all set up. Now, because I'm not um, able to do too much at the moment, um, the card that I made today is the first one I've made in a few weeks, because um, as I said, um, Amber's been helping me with all my creative work lately um, while I haven't been able to move very well with my back. Hey, Nola, great to have you here. So um, we are going to be casing one of the projects from the catalog, um, and I'm just gonna make some subtle little changes to it. So just uh, making it my own. I always like to do that when I case a project. So we're using the Ocean Front stamp set here on page 39, and this is a distinctive stamp set. I really love this one. It makes it so easy to create a beautiful scene, really quick and easy. So I'm gonna show you how to use um, that stamp set. We're also gonna be incorporating a few of the items from the New Horizons suite. If you haven't seen this suite, this is gorgeous. And the designer series paper that goes with this suite is one of the items that we were waiting for, which is now available. So if you've been waiting for this uh, to purchase this suite um, till that paper came in, now is the time because that is available. Um, so we're going to be using the dies from this suite as well as the embellishments, the pebbles, enamel shapes. Okay, those two suites go really beautifully together and you'll see even here on the samples, um, oh, sorry, not this sample. I think it was on this page here in the one that we're um, casing today. It's actually incorporating the dies um, from the New Horizons suite as well. All right, so this is my take on that project. And yes, I did make this one myself today. I did a test run to see how I would go if I was going to be able to sit to actually create a card. Um, and I was able to just make it through and then I had to lay down. <laughs> so I've been laying down right up until it was time to go live or time to get ready to go live. Um, so yeah, so I've just added um, a different embossing folder here in the background, um, which is the Macrame 3D embossing folder. And I added some of those beautiful pebble embellishments here as well. All right, so this is the one that we're going to be making today. So I will um, show you what we're going to be using to create that card. So we've got all of our pieces here cut, um, cut out. Now, I don't have all of the measurements written down for you, but basically um, I can probably remember most of them. Um, we've got a base card of crumb cake. So this is just half of an A4 sheet. Um, scored and folded in half at 10.5. So sorry, this is 21 centimeters by 14.85 centimeters, scored and folded at 10.5. This is another piece of crumb cake, and this one was cut at 10.1 centimeters by 14.45 centimeters. And then we've run that through the macrame 3D embossing folder, and Amber's done that for me ahead of time. Um, because I'm not able to um, move around too much and I can't lift the 
die cutting machine over onto the desk at the moment so she's pre-done that one for me and that will also save a little bit of time too that I have to actually sit because sitting is um, very painful for me at the moment so um, so we're using that one and then we've got a piece of um, basic white and this is the piece we're going to be stamping on and we've die cut that with the stitched rectangle dies which I'll just just trying to reach them very carefully hang on a sec Ugh. trying to reach them without moving my back it's very tricky <laughs> all right so we have used I think it was the third no it's the second the second largest is that the right one yeah the second largest rectangle second largest stitched rectangle to cut um, our card front that we're going to be stamping onto and then we've got just two little um, strips of cardstock for our sentiment I just um, I've got we only need one but I always have a spare one when I've pre-cut them just in case I have any stamping boo-boos and this one measures five and a half centimeters by 1.7 1.7 centimeters okay and then Amber has already also die cut the um, the fence pieces for me so I'll show you the dies for that so this is the um, on the horizon stamp set and we're actually going to be using the sentiment from this one but we're using the stamps from the ocean front for the um, the scene that we're creating but the On the Horizons has dies that coordinate with it, and they are the, whoop, today's the first day I'm using them actually, the Horizon dies. Okay, so you can purchase those together as a bundle, and you will save yourself 10% when you purchase those together as a bundle. And these are the dies that um, go, uh, that are from that set. So we've got the, the fence pieces there that I'm using today. We've got some mountains and valleys there, or you might like to use them as water. Um, we've got some mountains here and an outline there of the mountains, which cuts out the, um, oh, it doesn't cut out that stamp. It's to put a solid piece behind this one, because this one actually cuts out little pieces in that die. I'm not demonstrating this one today I'll demonstrate that one on another day um, and then we've got some other dies here that coordinate with the stamp sets and some additional grass and things like that so that's where the fence comes from from the horizon dies which as I said coordinate with the on the horizon stamp set so they come together as a bundle or you can purchase them individually but I always suggest people purchase items if they have a coordinating punch or die set that you do purchase them together as a bundle because um, if you're like me, I've done this quite a few times and I catch myself out. I decide down the track that I do actually want the other component and then I've missed out on that 10%, which is very sad. <laughs> so we love we love getting those discounts, don't we? Um, oh, Megan says she loves the DSP and the suite is on the top of her list. Ah, oh, that's great. Hey, Athena, how are you going? Um, hope you're feeling better. I'm still working. Oh, you're working? Okay, cool. I'm getting there, Athena. It's slow going. My back is being very troublesome, but I'm here today and I'm sitting up at the moment. Um, so all is good at the moment. If I have to, if, if I have a flare up and I have to go in a hurry, um, I will have to cut this short, but hopefully not. Hopefully we'll get through the whole thing. All right, so the ocean front. So there's lots of different pieces to this and you can use them in all different ways. Um, you can use them for sky, for ocean, um, for sand, for grass, um, for beach scenes. You've got some rocks here as well. And of course you've got some, um, some grass or you might even like to use that for reeds in an underwater scene. You've got some speckles here which can be used to distress or for sand so lots of different ways that you can use this stamp set but as I said I'm keeping things really easy today um, just to keep it uh, a bit quicker so we're going to be using this one this one this one and these two grassy ones and I might incorporate um, the sand in this one too I didn't do that on the first one 
but I noticed afterwards on the sample they'd actually use that to distress the fence a little bit so I might get that one out and we might use that one as well okay so let's put aside these other pieces oh we're also going to be using as well um, some linen trim for our bow and for our embellishments we're using the pebble enamel shapes from the horizon new horizons suite um, and they come in three colors so they're in smoky slate basic gray and crumb cake i think it is is it crumb oh it might be cinnamon cider might be cinnamon cider it's kind of it's between crumb cake and cinnamon cider i'm not exactly sure but anyway they're brown <laughs> so they look really good all right so that's what we're using um, I think I've shown you everything. I'm the inks. Let me show you the ink colors we're using. Today we're using Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Just Jade, Sahara Sand and Basic Grey. Okay, so they're the colors if you want to recreate this um, card. Okie dokie. Now this one I don't have a block for, so I'm going to stick it on the back of this one. And I haven't cleaned that yet, but we'll clean that one when I come to use it. All right. So I'm just going to bring in, um, we're stamping with photopolymer. Well, actually, we'll do our sentiment first. Our sentiment stamp set, our sentiment, sorry, and the birds are actually from, as I said, the On the Horizon stamp set. And they are a red rubber stamp set. So we don't need um, the stamp and pierce mat under that one. But the ocean front stamp set that we're focusing on today is a photopolymer so then we'll bring in our um our mat for that one whoops let's put the fence over there at the side as well okay so i'm going to start with some sahara sand ink and we're going to stamp the sentiment and i'm using wishing you so much happiness so i've got two stamps on this block one on either side so i'm utilizing my block today Oh, let me put my grid paper under there just in case. All right. This also helps me to line things up as well. All right, so we're just going to stamp that in the center. Hopefully, I can't really lean far forward, so I'm hoping I'm getting that straight. I do have another piece if I don't. Oh, there we go. I did it. Yay. Very good. All right, so we'll pop that one away for the moment. And we'll give that one a little clean on our chamois. I'll just bring that in. All right. And now we'll pop our sentiment to the side and we'll create our scene. So we're going to bring in that basic white piece that I had um, pre-die cut or Amber had pre-die cut that for me actually. And we're going to start with some balmy blue for the sky. Now, the one that I'm using for the sky is this one here. So I'm basically going down these three here. So I'm doing sky, greenery, and then some sand. So my, I think this scene looks like um, sort of the grassy the grassy area that you get to before you get to the actual beach. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly, but that's what I think this scene looks like. So you've got the sky, the grass, and the um, sand, because usually there's a bit of sand along the path as you walk through. I'm, I'm having flashbacks to my childhood when I, um, we used to always holiday down at the beach down on the south coast. And um, yeah, that's what I sort of envisage when I use this. Actually, I'm gonna turn this up this way. When I um, envisage this scene. All right, so I'm, because my um, stamp is quite large and it's a distinctive stamp, I want to make sure that I get plenty of ink on there. So I'm actually taking my ink pad to my stamp for this one. But I am going to stamp this off because it's quite um, dark, the balmy blue, and I don't want that too dark. So I just quickly stamp it off. Oh, I didn't quite get that stamped off properly. Hang on a minute. I'm going to do that again. Oh, you know why? I forgot my stamp and pierce mat. There we go. Let's put that underneath. And I'll just do that again. 
I want to make sure that I've got that ink fairly even on that surface. It might be a little bit different. Uh, it doesn't matter if it is, it's a distinctive stamp too. So we are going to get the different shadings in there as well. All right, so we'll just stamp off. There we go. And then I'm going to, oh, I want that up that way. I'm going to stamp this towards the top, but I'm leaving a little bit of a border. So there we go. So I'll push that on. And the reason that I stamped off first and I'm using the second generation is I just didn't want that sky to be too super dark. There we go. That's beautiful. All right. I'll clean that one after. We'll move on to our Coastal Cabana. So this is going to be our grassy portion. And we're using that next stamp. So this one here. And you might even like to do um, create a beach scene with this. If you use different colours but you use the same stamps, you can actually make it look like the ocean and the sky or the ocean, or the sky and the sand. Like it just depends on the colours that you're using. All right, so I'm going to have this up this way. And this time I'm not stamping off. I'm just going to overlap these two a little bit. Just see if I can get my head in there so I can see where I'm lining these up. Hopefully I'll line them up okay. Oh, good. Yep, there we go. Okay, great. I'll clean that one later as well. All right, now I'll bring in some Just Jade and I'm going to stamp some of the grass and the reeds. So I'm using um, the large one here and the small one there. So we'll do those. So these are quite dark. So I'm gonna stamp this one in the middle because it's the tallest, sort of in the middle. There we go. And then we'll stamp some, we'll flip that over and I've got the other stamp on the other side. I'm just gonna stamp some of these smaller grassy bits along here. There we go. Good. Okay. Because, you know, you've always got all those grassy bits along the side where you walk along the beach. Although it does depend on the beach, I think, too. The beaches that I used to go to, um, we used to holiday down at Shoalhaven Heads. If anybody's ever heard of Shoalhaven Heads. I'm just going to clean that block off. Um, we used to holiday down there every holidays when I was growing up as a kid. And so I've got lots of fond memories of um, Shoalhaven Heads Caravan Park, Shoalhaven Heads Beach. And we, um, let's check the comments here if I'm missing anything. No, all good. Um, and yes, so from the caravan park, there were all these different paths you could go along to go out to the beach. And you had to walk a fair way, but uh, you're walking in amongst trees and it was very sandy, but you had the trees and the bush sort of either side of you. And so that's what this scene reminds me of. Oh, Megan knows Shoalhaven. You have family in Nowra. Oh, there you go. Yes, we spent many, many, um, many, many times down in the Shoalhaven and Nowra area and Berry and all down there. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this one here now too. So this is our sand at the forefront there. There we go. Okay, and I'll just stamp that off. Now, while we've got the Sahara sand ink out. I'm going to stamp some of those on the fence here just to distress that fence a little bit because um, I didn't do that on the first one but after I'd finished it I noticed that they had done it. Just wondering if it's going to be too dark. Maybe I'll test it on the back. That's that's an idea. Let's test it on the back to see. Yeah it might be a bit dark I think in the full strength so we might go stamped off. So I'm just going to stamp it. Yeah, that looks better. I'm just going to stamp it here and there along the fence just to weather that fence a little bit and to kind of look like it's got a little bit of sand along the bottom there too. There we go. Just here and there. Okay. Um... Megan said her dad's older sister lives there in Nowra. Oh, with her family. Oh, there you go. Small world, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Robin. 
How are you? Great to have you here today. Oh, thank you. It's great to be back. As I was saying to everybody, I just can't um, have the camera facing me at the moment because I can't move my stand. Um, I physically haven't got the strength to do that at the moment with my back. It'll um, pull my back out. So just filming face down today. All right. Now, the other thing I'm going to do too with the little fences here is I am going to do a little bit of surgery and just trim them. I'm going to cut off this um, paling here. So just turn that upside down and I'm going to trim off that one so it's not too wide. And on this one, you'll notice that there are two little um, palings at the side that sort of stick out. So those little cross pieces, I'm just going to cut them off too. I didn't want those pieces on there. I just want it to be flush with the card. There we go. Okay, so get rid of those, those little pieces. Okay, so now I'm going to attach these before I put this onto my card front. So I'm going to have that one on that side and that one on that side. So that's, oh, I haven't done the birds actually too. So I'll do the birds first and then I'll attach the um, fence. Nearly forgot about our little birdies. So we're using basic grey for our birds. And as I said earlier, the birds are from the um, On the Horizon stamp set. So make sure I've got them up the right way. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to just put them at a little bit of an angle so that they're sort of flying upwards like that in a flock. There we go. All right. So that's all our stamping finished now. And I'll just stamp that off a little bit. I'll pop that over to the side. We'll give all those a clean in a little bit. Normally I clean my stamps straight away. I'm just trying to make it really quick today. Okay, so let's adhere our fence. So I'm using a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. So this would look great too if you cut this out, uh, if you die cut this out with some um, mounting foam on the back of these, the mounting foam sheets. And um, that would give these a little bit of a lift off the card, which would look awesome. Um, but that was a bit of an afterthought. So we're just going to stick them flat on this one. There we go. Make sure they're in on that front panel there. And we'll pop this one on the other side. I'm just trying, trying to think what they're called. What are they called? Um, dimensional sheets, dimensional adhesive sheets. You know the ones I mean. I can't think what they're called. Somebody will remember what they're called and tell me. All right, and this one I'm going to put down just a little bit lower than the other one and line that up with the edge of the card there we go all right so that's our card front done now isn't that nice and easy that stamp set is so great to work with it's really quick and easy and it makes a beautiful card all right so we're going to adhere our embossed piece with our macrame embossing folder i love this 3d embossing folder takes me back to my childhood um, let's use a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue again. Yeah, it takes me back to my childhood. We used to do macrame. Um, you might have heard me tell this story before. I used to do macrame at school and make um, hanging pots. And I loved it. It was so much fun. And my mum used to do macrame as well. My sisters did macrame and anything crafty we really did. We loved doing anything crafty in our house. There we go, so we're just popping that down flat. Now, if you wanted to, you could pop this up on dimensionals. I didn't do that with my first one. Um, I might pop this one up on dimensionals. The first one I just stuck flat, but let's give this one a little bit of a pop. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna use up some of my edge pieces of my dimensionals. Make sure that you don't waste those, use them up. So let's just cut some of these pieces and we can utilize those. We don't want to waste them. They are useful pieces. And I'm very proud of Callie because she's been such a good girl. She's having a little sleep on the floor here. Um, uh, just having a look to see other comments. Oh, hey, Judy. 
Yes, I'm back. <laughs> oh, you've been cooking up, doing some cooking, have you? That sounds good. Um, first full week since his knee injury. Oh, he's back at work. That's awesome. Oh, that's good to hear. That's been a bit of a long, long recovery for him, hasn't it? After his knee injury. I know about long recoveries. I'm so sick of being in bed every day and not being able to do anything. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to push through today and I'm going to do this Facebook Live. Mind you, I did a little test this morning to see if I was going to be able to cope with it. And I will have another lie down as soon as I finish with my ice pack. I've actually got an ice pack behind my back at the moment as I sit here just to keep everything under control. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so see, we were able to use all of those off-cut pieces um, on the backing there. So I'll just remove all of the backing papers. And then we'll be able to give this a little bit of dimension. You could stick it flat if you wanted to make it um, a lot quicker, uh, which is what I did on the first one. And I think that's what they have done on the sample card in the catalogue as well. Now I'm going to pop my, my um, focal image up towards the top so that I've got an even border at the top and the left and the right side. And we're going to have a bit more of a border at the bottom. Okay, so see how we've got that wider border there at the bottom. I just didn't want to um, centre this one. I wanted to have it sort of even up there. All right, and now with the sentiment stamp. Now, if you wanted to, you could um, dauber a little bit of ink around the edges. I don't have my daubers out and I just can't stretch to reach them at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dab my cardstock edge into the ink this time, just to pick up a little bit of color and create a border around that sentiment label. There we go. So see, now we've got a nice dark border around that, which just helps to lift that off the background a little bit. All right. I do like daubering my edges. Um, it gives a really soft finish. But I, as I said, I can't reach them at the moment. So, all right, so we'll pop that over and let's use, I've got another sheet of off cuts. Let's use up all the off cuts today. And we'll pop some of these down on the back here. I could have left them in a whole strip actually and just use the whole strip of those, but that's okay. There we go. You love the background stamp dies? Yeah, they're awesome, aren't they, Judy? They create such a beautiful scene. And as I was saying um, before, you can do them in different colors to have your scene look different. So it could be um, ocean and sky with some sand. I'm doing sky with grass and um, sand in the forefront. I was telling my little story about our years of growing up um, down the south coast at Shoalhaven Heads. All right, so we're just going to pop this sentiment down here and line that up with the edge there. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, we'll get our embellishing items out now. So we'll get some linen trim and we'll tie a bow. I've got some off the roll there already, so let's use that up. Let's tie a bow and I want fairly long ends on my bow this time so tie that a little bit longer so who else loves holidays at the beach did anybody else grow up um, holidaying by the beach my um, sister used to actually live at Aladulla so in my early adult years um, we used to holiday a lot down in Aladulla as well because that's where my sister lived so we always went down there and holidayed in the summertime usually around christmas all right there we go so there's our bow i'll probably trim that up a little bit i think i've made that a little bit too long um hey rose how are you going not receiving me as usual today i was asked to join your group not sure what is happening glad you are getting better you were asked to join my group. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what that... Which group was that, Rose? Because you're already in my VIP customer group. Not sure what that's all about. It's interesting. 
All right, so I'm just going to use a glue dot and roll that into a ball. I'll just do that on the actual roll here We're using my take your pick tool. And I'm going to use that ball of glue at the back of my twine here, to a, or my linen thread, I should say, to attach that to my card. So if you find that that's a little bit too much glue, you can break some of that off. Actually, I might do that. Break some of that off to make that a smaller dot of glue. Oh, did I just pull all of that off? I think I pulled all of that off by accident. Whoopsie, hang on, let's try that again. Oh, there we go. I think the rest is on my take your pick tool. So I might break some of that off first before I roll it. Hang on, we get that off the take your pick tool. Um, oh, Megan used to have holidays up the road from Coogee Beach. Oh, there you go, on the north shore of Sydney. Uh, with your grandparents and ended up living there for almost 10 years after you left school. Oh, nice. It's beautiful over there. John's family, John, my husband, his family is actually from the North Shore. So he grew up over there at the beaches over there too. I grew up on the south side of Sydney. So um, we spent a lot of time at the beaches on the south side and down the south coast. And then when I met John, I was introduced to the northern beaches because I'd never really been to the northern beaches prior to that. Back in the day when we were younger, we were close to beaches ourselves, so we didn't really have to go too far. All right, there we go. So we've got our bow there. I'm gonna trim that up just a little bit because the tails are just a little bit longer than I had wanted. I think I picked up my blunt scissors I did too. My paper snips. Oh, Eastern Suburbs, sorry, Megan. Yes, could you on the Eastern Suburbs, sorry. Getting my, my North, South, East and West mixed up. <laughs> um, Uh, Julie said, might need to change your passwords, Mandy. Rose. Oh, is there a problem with my groups, Julie? Oh, Robin said, sometimes that comes up on hers and it doesn't prevent her from watching and commenting. Oh, okay, so it could be something to do with the Facebook Live, Rose. Uh, oh, okay, uh, I'll check into that, Julie, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Everything seemed to be okay, but I will double check into that. Thank you, Julie. All right, so let's use some of these beautiful pebble enamel shapes now to line our fence here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna use a combination of the colors and the shapes. So you can pretty much just choose whichever ones and I'm just gonna line them along the bottom of the fence here. These are really beautiful, I love these. So let's get a light gray one or smoky slate, I think this one is. Oops, we just want them touching each other so that they look like they're sitting on top of one another. Uh, then we'll go with yeah, one of these ones along here. Let's put that at a little bit of a different angle and we'll get a longer one in the lighter color. Pop that up here. And let's get another brown one. We'll get a, a medium size one, brown one. And pop that down there. Okay, and then we'll put some over on the other side as well. I love these. These are such a great embellishment. They're really awesome. Get a long one, put a long one here. So what I'll do when I finish this is I will take a photo of this card and um, I'll pop that photo up tomorrow, probably, so that you can all have um, that photo there. If you wanted to copy this or case this, this card. Um, again, this one is from the mini catalogue. Um, I've just changed a few things up, but it's basically the same card, so you can copy it from there as well. There you go. So there is our embellishments done, and I think we're done. This is going to be the quickest Facebook Live I've done in, I don't know how long, probably forever. <laughs> um, 
Oh, Rose said she can see me okay, but didn't think I can see her comments. Yes, I can, Rose. Um, I'm just having a few issues with my iPad with the comments, but I've got Amber's phone beside me and I can see the video streaming live there. And I can see the comments on both actually. So it's all good. It asked me to send a request to join, which I did. At least you saw my last comment. Oh, it sent you a message to say request to join. That's interesting. That might be a new thing with Facebook Lives, maybe, Rose. I don't know. Um, oh, Julie said, great card. Gives a relaxing feel like you're at the beach sitting on a deck at a holiday house. Oh, I love that, Julie. That sounds wonderful. So there we go. There are our two cards. So this one is the one that has been popped up, which I do like. I do like that a bit better. I'll show you the two side by side. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up, but... Um, side by side you can see that front panel just popped up on the right card and flat on the left card and the other thing I did this time too was distress those fence palings a little bit with some of that sand or splatter stamp which I really like I like that effect on the um, the fence there it just gives a little bit more texture I'll hold that up to the camera a little bit closer so you can see that hopefully the camera can focus in on that a little bit there, you can see that there. If you redirect the light, how about that? Is that better? Yeah. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, and I did a different embossing folder in the background here to what they did on the original as well. So there you go. So there's my card for you for today. Um, and I'm sorry that I couldn't see you face-to-face -face today, but hopefully I'll be able to... Um, see you face to face again next week we'll see how we're going if not i'll try and do another video like this again um but i want to keep bringing creative content to you to um keep inspiring you to get creative um with your brand new products or perhaps with products that you already have as well so remember that if you are shopping with me this is my january host code um here's where you can find my online store either via my blog or my website and remember that we have got those beautiful, uh, the beautiful new mini catalogue, which is from where this stamp, these stamp sets and these products I've used today have come from. And the amazing celebration where you can earn free items um, up until the 28th of January 2022 with um, qualifying orders of over $90. So if you've got any questions about anything that I've talked about today, um, please feel free to get in contact with me and let me know. Remember, we've got that awesome join special during celebration um, where you, when you purchase the starter kit for $169, you get to choose $235 worth of product. You get free shipping on that. Plus, you will get to choose two free stamp sets of your choice. You can choose the most expensive stamp sets in the catalogue if you want to. Um, either from the mini catalogue, the annual catalogue, um, wherever, anything that's currently available, um, except for the celebration and the host stamp sets. So there you go. So lots and lots of beautiful things. And I hope that you have all enjoyed this um, card today. Uh, so Rose said, now I want this set as well. It makes a difference when you see it used. Love it. It does, doesn't it? Because when you just look at the stamp case like that, you see all these splodges and think, oh yeah, backgrounds. But then when you see them actually put together to create a scene, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? To see how they're actually used. So yeah, and we might have some more ideas coming for you as well with this stamp set. Um, I think Amber's got some ideas up her sleeve so keep watching my Facebook business page this week and you might see some more projects coming up with this stamp set throughout the week to give you some more inspiration. Oh, thank you, Robin. Robin says, lovely card. Robin agrees with Rose too about um, seeing the, the stamp set actually used. Um, Megan loves my card too. She said, awesome card, Mandy. Thank you, everyone. Um, so there you go. All right, well, I will leave you with that. I need to go and rest my back again. So great to be back with you all. Thank you so much for all your support and your messages, um, cards that I've received and for all your love and care um, while I've been convalescing with my back. It is getting there. It's just very slow going. Um, so I just need to really rest a lot and take it easy and pace myself. 
So I look forward to seeing you again next week. I probably won't do another live this week, um, but who knows? I might have a miraculous recovery and I might come back on on Thursday. We'll see how we go. If not, um, hopefully I'll be back next Monday with you all. Um, oh, yes. Thank you, Megan. Yes, I will send you my address. Um, yeah, thank you so much. That's lovely of you. Um, okay, everyone. Will you have a great week? Um, stay safe. Stay well. And I look forward to catching up with you all again soon. See you later. Bye.